So we continued the work with half the men holding spears from the first light. I was just getting ready to tell y'all I was getting ready to cut off and the head cut off. Okay, so 21 through 23. So we continued the work with half the men holding spears from the first light of dawn till the stars came out. At that time, I also said to the people, have every man and his helper stay inside Jerusalem at night so they can serve us as guards by night and workmen by day. Neither I nor my brothers nor my men nor the guards with me took off our clothes. Each had his weapon even when he went for water. Okay, so I want you guys to take a moment to pause this video and think about what God has been saying to you with this video. Faith to build and rebuild. The nuggets, even what Holy Spirit may be whispering to you, to your spirit that maybe we haven't said in the video. Take a moment to think about that. Take a moment to think about what God is calling you to build or rebuild. What is God saying to you concerning that? What, what are you getting from this word of the book of Nehemiah? You know, and um, we're going to jump into five. I'm going to wait a few seconds. Then I'm going to jump into five, talk about Nehemiah helps the poor. And then also after you apply this video, after you guys apply these videos with, on this channel, and then just this faith series that we're talking about throughout the month of July and for July, how has God been calling your faith to go to another level? What have you learned this month? What were some ways that you were scratched this month? What were some ways that your faith was tested this month or that your faith passed the test this month or that your faith went to another level in God? You know, you can leave it below in the comments or you can just write it down or you could just think about it, you know? Okay, so now let's talk about Nehemiah helps the poor. Now... The men and their wives raised a great outcry against their Jewish brothers. Some were saying, we and our sons and daughters are numerous. In order for us to eat and stay alive, we must get grain. Others were saying, we are mortgaging our fields, our vineyards, and our homes to get grain during the famine. Still others were saying, we have had to borrow money to pay the king's tax on our fields and vineyards. Although we are of the same flesh and blood as our countrymen, and though our sons are as good as theirs, Yet we have to subject our sons and daughters to slavery. Some of our daughters have already been enslaved, but we are powerless because our fields and our vineyards belong to others. Here's verse 6. When I heard their outcry in these charges, I was very angry. I pondered them in my mind and then accused the nobles and officials. I told them. So guys, I'm probably just going to have to combine this into two parts. But I may upload part one and part two because this video is not going to take as long as I thought. It's just us continuing to read um, chapter five. So I'll probably just do it like in two parts. I probably just have to do that. Okay, so when I heard their outcry in these charges, I was very angry. I pondered them in my mind and then accused the nobles and officials. I told them, you are exacting usury from your own countrymen. So I called together a large meeting to deal with them and said, as far as possible, we have brought back our Jewish brothers who were sold to the Gentiles. Now you are selling your brothers only for them to be sold back to us. They kept quiet because they could find nothing to say. So I continued, what you are doing is not right. Shouldn't you walk in the fear of our God to avoid the reproach of our Gentile enemies? I and my brothers and my men are also lending the people money and grain. But let the exacting of usury stop. Give back to them immediately their fields, vineyards, olive groves, and houses, and also the usury you are charging them, the hundredth part of the money, grain, new wine, and oil. We will give it back, they said, and we will not demand anything more from them. We will do as you say. Then I summoned the priests and made the nobles and the officials take away. Oh, Take an oath to do what they had promised. I also shook out the folds of my robe and said, In this way, may God shake out of his house the possessions every man who does not keep this promise. So may such a man be shaken out and empty. At this, the whole assembly said, Amen and praise the Lord. And the people did as they had promised. Moreover, from the 20th year of King Artaxerxes, when I was appointed to be their governor in the land of Judah until his 30th, second year 12 years 12 years neither i nor my brothers ate the food allotted to the governor but the earlier governors those preceding me placed a heavy burden 
on the people and took 40 shekels. That's on the footnotes. That's one pound or, uh, you know, guys know me with the math. Let me see what the saying in the footnotes. One pound or uh, about 0 0.5 kilogram. Okay, so that's that. 40 shekels of silver from them in addition to food and wine. Their assistants also lorded it over the people. But out of reverence for God, I did not act like that. Instead, I devoted myself to the work on this wall. That's for somebody. Nehemiah 5, 16. All my men were assembled there for the work. We did not acquire any land. Okay, that's saying something in the footnotes I was just reading. It says most Hebrew manuscripts, semicolon, some Hebrew manuscripts, Septuagint, Vulgate, and Syriac 1. Sometimes I'll be seeing that, but I just want, okay, so let's keep reading. Um, um, 17 through 19. Furthermore, 150 Jews and officials ate at my table, as well as those who came to us from the surrounding nations. Each day, one ox, six choice sheep, and some poultry were prepared for me, and every 10 days, an abundant supply of wine of all kinds. In spite, wait, in spite of all this, I never demanded the food allotted to the governor because the demands were heavy on these people. Here is verse 19. Remember me with favor, O oh my God, for all I have done for these people. And guys, that's going to conclude this. Um, you know, check out part one. I was going to combine the videos together, but because it's not going to be like going into 20, 30 minutes, I don't really have to combine them. So I'm just going to upload them like part one, part two. But check out part one if you missed it. Uh, we're talking about faith, build, and rebuild. And part one is going to have um, a little bit more nuggets and different things like that for you guys. But peace and blessings to you all. And thanks for tuning in and God bless.